The ninth edition of the Commonwealth Regional Conference of Heads of Anti-Corruption Agencies in Africa is underway at Chigo in Entebbe. The previous conference was held in Abuja, Nigeria. Uganda's President Yoweri Museveni, who was the chief guest, cited weaknesses in the Inspectorate of Government in Uganda, the IGG, saying that the Ombudsman had been infiltrated by some wrong elements. The President explained that it was the reason he set up the State House Anti Corruption Unit, headed by his former aide, Lieutenant Colonel Edith Nakalima. When I hear the villagers crying, Things are going wrong, things are going wrong, things are going wrong. But if they are going wrong, what happened to the watchman, the one I left in charge of the home? Why has, why has he not heard that somebody is breaking the window? I think let me put the watchman to watch the watchman. I think she was infiltrated by Slowly, slowly, some groups, you don't know how they come. they come. The president called for thorough investigations into corruption cases, but cautioned against intimidation of other good public servants in the course of fighting corruption. Because also you cannot sack people without a reason. Because when you do that, you also become, create another problem. The problem you create is... Uh, Timidity. The, the, the civil servants should not be timid. According to President Museveni, political blackmail is another bottleneck in fighting corruption. The untouchability, because they are politically very strong, you can't touch them. If you touch them, they can bring down the government. The president also said those who have been affected by corruption should be brought on board to fight the vice. Part of this corruption is because of the population which is not fully empowered. They are not able to, to say no. Because yeah. when the society is empowered, they cannot tolerate all those. A, a bribe, why should I pay a bribe? What are you doing for me? Inspector General of Government Justice Irene Mulia Gonja revealed that the categories of government officials who must declare their wealth annually has been increased from 65 to 300 to further promote transparency. We still intend to start publishing lists of leaders whose declarations are to be verified to enable responsible citizens to give the inspectorate information that they may have about suspicious asset acquisition and lifestyles. Deputy Speaker of Parliament Jacob Olanya and Commonwealth Secretary General Patricia Scotland also spoke out on the need to check corruption. It's now a kind of money laundering. When you steal big money, take a percentage to charge, they will receive it and they'll give you the front seat. Corruption diverts resources away from the vitally important investments that need to be made in areas such as health, education and renewable energy. Thank you. According to the Commonwealth Secretary General Patricia Scotland, Africa loses about 148 US million dollars per annum due to corruption hindering service delivery in different African countries. Ali Mivule, NTV.